But you gotta see this is this is artist advice day because little baby, all right, I found this interesting. Little baby shares his thought on, thoughts on Ice Spice canceling book shows because her price went up. I'm surprised you didn't see this. Check this out, girl. She's pretty cool. I want to ask you about this. She was getting booked for three, four thousand dollars, right? They canceled all of them because the song blew up. You think it what, was that the right move? I don't. I'm not in the music business, so I don't know. Is that so? Like, if you get a song like Munch and it blow up, right? Your booking number is three, four thousand dollars. This blow up now. You can really get a twenty, twenty five. Do you just cancel them? You go. You go on and still rock out. That's what I think. I, gonna, what I would have. Right. We're going to rock out. Because it's still only one song. Right. We don't care how Powerful. big it is. It's still only one song. Powerful. And you need them promoters. You need all, all that shit the same, like the street. Right. One promoter tell the next promoter, the next promoter tell the next promoter. Right. Everybody know everybody. Now, here's where the, this way you be, get innovative at. If I were her, I would have said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this show for 4000 But you got to give me two. the munch girl. Hey, hey, that was one of the most interesting clips I've seen in a while. First of all, I was actually kind of surprised that Lil Baby gave any kind of comment. Just because, you know, yeah. a lot of times street artists just like, hey, man, you mentioned somebody else. That name. ain't my business. Ain't my business. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is, which I respect, right? Yeah. Which I respect. But he, he, he cut on multiple different things, right? So I get it. Yesterday's price ain't today's price. We we we've heard that plenty of times, but we've experienced this plenty of times with, you know, pain and influencer or whatever. And yeah. all of a sudden, situation change, and now you want to up it one thousand dollars. And it's one thing when they like, oh, after this campaign will go up. Yeah, that's but fair. We're talking about we already agreed to the deal, and yeah. you're gonna switch, and you're gonna <laughs> just not post. Sometimes we even sit the money over and you just, and you're like, oh yeah, you can give us the rest of the money. No, 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 no. Send us that money back. We'll see you later. Like if you would have did it when we paid it, we would have caught you before that happened. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because also it's like, hey man, look, and you're doing this especially on TikTok. It's like, bro, you're going to be hot for a month. Yeah. Now you're not. And then you come back to us. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all got some campaign work. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, hey man, keep your relationship. Just so, just like little baby said, man, like, one, it's the relationship that he alluded to, period, right? For, well, I'll say this. He alluded to the relationships of one promoter to another promoter, which is a very real thing. Those people have relationships. You got to remember. Yeah, very small world. artist. Look, the people in the business often have been in the business for a minute. Yeah. Right? So they have relationships on relationships because that's how they stay in the business a lot of times, Right. And so it's one, the one off promoter, which is a line of revenue for you. Mm -hmm. Right. And then two, yeah, you could be killing multiple streams of income, not even realizing it because you screw one person over. And now people are just watching like, oh, is he going to do me like that? I might take a chance on you, but it's a completely different energy. Yeah. And you have far less leeway. Like you don't want to, you don't want to take that away from you. And I get it. The bag is going up. We ain't seen money like this before. We're trying to figure out how to make this money back, especially because I know a lot of that is driven by the managers. It's probably not just like Ice Spice saying that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, and maybe, hey, their clout, because I don't know much anything really about who's behind her like that. Um, you know, maybe they're like, hey, we're so good with where we are, we can do stuff like that and not care. Yeah, but then it also kills a lot of the, like, the core dynamics of being a new artist. Cause it's like, here are all these shows you got booked. I mean, we saw the the jokes about her rolling loud performance. You know what I'm saying? People comment on the fact that she's not a great performer. So like, I think it goes back to another conversation we had about, is there other value in this opportunity outside of just the money that you might be getting? Yes. Cause the value in that would have been like, hey, I ain't never practiced, I ain't never performed before, right? I, I haven't performed. Let me knock out three, four, five of these 4K shows before I have this rolling loud performance that's gonna mm. basically put me on the big stage and people really gonna be looking at me, right? And then there's the, like, I think it goes back to how smart the team is in terms of like, do they know what to do to flip that attention? Right. Um, 
Because I don't know what that last guy was going to say, but I'm pretty sure he's going to say, like, maybe she should negotiate, like, a, a ticket split or something, like, on maybe a percentage of the, the door or something on top of whatever. So, it's like, that could have been an opportunity they could have took it. They're probably, that would have been pretty fair yeah. to, like, a, a, a respectable promoter. Um, could have fucking sold merch. So, if you brought up more people than you thought you were going to bring, they could have bought stuff from you. You right. could have pushed these people to some online shit you got moving on. But then, most importantly, it's like, you are a new artist with – a viral song like you the most important thing for you at this stage is building relationships not just with the the, the back end people but with all these people that came to see you because all these people that are coming to see you are trying to decide do i like this song enough and you enough to continue paying attention to you yep. and so it's like i don't know let's say she had five shows for four thousand dollars it's five opportunities that went over different people you get a knockdown. I think she was asking like twenty k. The rumor was what she was asking like twenty, twenty five k or something. Yep. So it's like okay, now most of these promoters probably aren't going to pay that yet because you're not as proven. But let's say you, you know, let's say you get two, three of them, right? Um, that's two, three chances for you to win people over when you could have had eight, ten, fifteen, twenty. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, and just right. been just been knocking out. And, and I think it's a, like a long term mentality. And yep. going back to what we say, bro, like as artists, like if you feel like you're not gonna be here for long, then yeah, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Get as much as you can get. get the bag right now. <laughs> See, this is where we go back to goodwill and the confidence yeah. of having a career or not. Because when you have a feel like you're gonna have an extended career, you're more apt to build goodwill, which is I don't need to take every single dime off the table. Yeah. You know? It's like, all right, I leave a little bit on the table because I'm building and I'm gonna cash out bigger and bigger as I go. And almost the game becomes I want to leave a little bit more on the table. Yeah. All right. So if I always take less than there actually is, there's always something. All right. Yeah. Now something. you owe me. The deposits. Right. You yeah. owe me. Yeah. Right. Whether that's a, from a fan base standpoint or, you know, just goodwill within business. Right. Person to person. But that's essentially what's happening. And I saw so one of these comments. She said, nah, she doesn't even have her stage presence down packed to even raise anything which goes down to what you're saying. So mm -hmm. what can you demand because of the song, right? And what can you, what value do you actually produce as a product yeah. on stage, right? And it's one thing, people feel differently about a bad performance on a 20K show than they do on a 1K show. Yeah. And there's a couple people in, in the, you know, out there, little room, even feels different. You can have, a worse performance but still not feel as bad, not bomb as bad. And this is without me seeing any of her shows. You know, this is just based on the commentary and the conversation is more important to me, right? Yeah, um, you ain't missing but, much. But <laughs> like, people don't like practice, bro. Yeah, that's really, that's really that's all that should have been. That was just practice. And I mean, it goes paid back to, to, to the uh, paid practice, bro. That's the most important part of it. And it goes back to the comedian thing you said earlier, but like comedians will go do comedy yes. clubs with 100 people in it to get the joke right so when they step on this you know what I'm saying step on this stage with 30,000 people in it that shit is perfect that yep. shit is tight yep. I feel like it's only in music bro people are like I don't need to practice man I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be alright man they came here cause they think which is still true to some degree like yo they're here for me no matter what and it's like no we are here to see you do a good job <laughs> we are not just here for you. We are here to see you ideally kill it, right? Yeah. So I can I can say I have fun. I got some good memories. Get some good pictures for the gram and shit. Yep. And it's like now not now now you just taking that away from me as a fan. You know what I'm saying? Like you just robbed me <laughs> robbed me of a good experience. But I don't know, man. I, I just think that like I always feel like the fan building aspect of a, a artist, well, the, an early artist career is the most important part than the money. Because like look at how many artists we've seen nickel and dime in their way. You know what I'm saying? For three, four, five years, and on the sixth year, they just really blow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Then they, then they getting, you know what I'm saying? Quarter million to I don't know, maybe millions of show or something like that, depending on like how big they are. And that's a result of all the work they've been put in. And even those artists that don't make it that far can't demand a type of attention. They're still good, two, three, five years beyond the moment happening because they took those small opportunities to make sure they were gonna be straight in the right. future. You know? Right. Yeah. I wanna. Talk about Kanye real quick. Yeah, you know, I know that's a touchy subject <laughs> to talk about Kanye these days. But I think there's some important things to be said 